Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a what's in my backpack. If you guys haven't already seen it, I did post a school supplies haul video. It'll be up here in the iCard. That video basically tells you guys like the school supplies that I bought and like why I personally bought them, kind of, and also where I bought my supplies. But this video is going to be showing you guys like what backpack I'm using, what I'm putting in my backpack, my water bottle, my lunchbox, and just how I'm organizing everything. If you guys are enjoying my back to school videos so far, make sure you check out my back to school playlist. This is where I'm putting all of my back to school related videos. So yeah, make sure you guys go check those out if you haven't and get excited for more back to school content because you guys, I have so much fun back to school content planned and I'm super excited to show it to you guys. But without further ado, let's get started. So like I already mentioned, I'm going to be a freshman in high school this year. Therefore, I felt it was a good time to get a new backpack. I don't usually get a new one every single year. At least I haven't for the past couple years. For my entire middle school career, I used a black Jansport backpack. I would definitely recommend those. They work great. But I figured for high school, I would just start fresh. So I did some research on some like backpacks people would recommend and I picked this one. I have all of my stuff in here right now, so it is very heavy for me to hold up. But this is the backpack that I ended up picking. It is from the Herschel brand. It's their classic extra large backpack in their ash rose color, I believe. I actually wanted this backpack like two years ago, but I never ended up getting it. So this year I picked it out. This backpack will be linked in the description down below for you guys to go find. Before I get into the actual backpack, I'll show you guys like my water bottle and lunchbox that I'm planning on using. So I do want to use a hydro flask for a water bottle this year because these are literally my favorite for school. And I'm thinking of using my white one, but putting my straw lid on this one and then having this purple one for at home. So if you are looking for a water bottle for school, I would totally recommend a hydro flask. They work great and they last a long time. And also there are plenty of different sizes. I have two of the 32 ounce wide mouth ones and they work great. They don't fit in a lot of like pockets very well, but I just keep them in my backpack so it's fine. And then for a lunchbox, I think I'm gonna use this one. I got this from Vera Bradley in seventh grade, I think, and I haven't used it since. I did use it in seventh grade, but then eighth grade, I think I just, I was at home so I didn't really use it, but I'm bringing it back out. I decided on using this lunchbox because it kind of matches it. I don't know. They just kind of look cute together in a way. But honestly, I don't really care if they don't match. I like these Vera Bradley lunch boxes. I think they're cute, but also practical. So they're a nice size if you wanted to put it in your bag. I don't usually carry my lunch box in my bag. I usually will carry it in my hand and then put it in my locker. But also they are insulated with this cool pocket. So they're very helpful for your lunch. I'll link this one down below, but I will not guarantee that they will have this exact pattern because they switch out their patterns every once in a while. And if I don't end up using this, I'll probably just use like a Lululemon bag or something like that. But now let's get into the backpack. So first off, these backpacks do have two side like water bottle pockets. Unfortunately, they are kind of small, at least for my 32 ounce hydro flask. So I won't be using these for like water bottles, but I do put stuff in these pockets because they're pretty tight, honestly. So nothing will really fall out. So in this pocket, I have a charging block and a charging cord for my phone. Since I'm in high school now, you're allowed to have your phone on campus and use it. So I just decided to put one of these in my bag because you never know when I'm gonna need it Although I won't be using my phone like all day and then I don't have anything on this side yet But I guarantee you there will be like pencils or whatever in there and now moving on to the front pocket This backpack is getting kind of heavy So I'm not really gonna hold it up anymore, but in the front little pouch I have this pack of index cards usually I keep this in my locker But obviously I haven't started school yet by the time this video posts actually I will be in school But when I'm filming I haven't started yet so so these will go in my locker. I will keep some of these in my bag, but not the whole thing because I don't really need to have this whole thing in my bag. And then I have my wallet. This is like my lanyard that's also from Vera Bradley. It has a zip ID like wallet thing. So I have like my school ID, that's why I'm covering it. And then my debit card and just like cash. And then it does have this lanyard so I can wear it if I wanted to. I have a couple spare pencils because I find myself losing these a lot. So it's always good to have a spare in case like someone else 
else needs it as well. I have this mini stack of post-its. Usually I keep these in my locker too, but like I said, I haven't really been able to access that yet. While we're on the topic of my locker, I want to say I also put the actual pack of pencils that I buy for school in my locker because I don't need these at home and it's just better to keep them there. But then lastly, I just have a random black pen. You never know when you need one of these too. And this also would be in the front pocket. It doesn't fit currently because of all the other things I have, but this is my emergency kit and this I bring everywhere. Some years I've kept this in my locker and some years I've kept it in my bag. And I would definitely recommend your bag rather than your locker. But basically I just have this like travel pouch I got from Target a couple years ago and it literally just has like all the essentials. So obviously I have some period stuff, a pack of tissues, some aquaphor. Of course we have some hand sanitizer. I have some hair ties and just anything like that. If you are a girl or maybe even a boy and you don't have one of these for your bag, I would totally recommend. Hi guys, so I forgot to include one thing that I'm putting in my backpack this year and those are my headphones slash AirPods slash earbuds. I forgot to include these when I was originally filming the video because I am actually obviously still using them. So I haven't put them in my backpack yet, but I have recently been loving these Tribit Flybuds 3. So I just want to show you guys what they look like quick. Thank you to Tribit for sending me these Flybuds, which is basically earbuds. The link will be in the description down below for you guys to go check out. But this is what the box looks like. And then inside the box, you get a little manual on how to work them. The case with the buds inside. Some extra little things to go on it to help it size better to your ear. And then also a charging cord. So this is what the Tribit Fly Buds look like. They come in this cool case. They sell these in pink and black. Obviously, I had to get the pink ones. These are so cute. And then when you open them up, that is what it looks like on the inside. So these are very nice for your normal everyday earbuds, but also good for like exercising. But when you put them in, this is what they look like. They're not too big, not too small. A nice little size for your ears. And they are super easy to connect to your phone. All you gotta do is open up the case, go to the Bluetooth settings on whatever electronic, and select the Fly Buds 3 option, and you're connected. These have so many great settings, such as they can connect to your Siri, so I don't remember the exact controls, but I think if you like triple tap or maybe hold on this part right here, it'll connect to your Siri. You can also skip a song, accept an incoming call, decline a call. These are just so nice, and I love that they come with little rubber things to help adjust to your ear so that you can make sure that they fit you perfectly and they won't be too loose, too tight. So yeah, these are definitely going to be in my school bag this year and I would definitely suggest you guys go check these out. The link is in the description and let's get back to the video. But now moving into the big pocket of my school bag. I have so much in this pocket right now, but I'm the type of person that really utilizes my locker. So a lot of this will just sit in my locker until I need it for a certain class. But first off, we have my pencil case. This is from Stationery Pal, but you can find it on Amazon. So the way that I have my pencil case organized is I have one pencil here obviously for easy use and then when you open it up it looks like this then I have my planner so I'm still kind of debating on what planner I want to use this year originally I bought this planner when I was shopping for school supplies because I didn't know if my high school was gonna provide us with one but I went to my orientation the other day and they did I'm not gonna show you the front of the high school one because it has like my school on it but here's kind of the comparison this is the one from Target this is the one for my school both of them have their pros and cons so I don't know which one I'll be using yet. Then we have my two composition notebooks. Once again obviously these will not sit in my backpack all the time. They'll mainly sit in my locker until I need them. And then I have all of my spirals and I don't want to repeat myself but just to make it clear not all of this sits in my bag. Most of this sits in my locker and then I'll visit my locker to get the things that I need for each class because my locker is nicely placed like on campus. It's like right in the middle so I can easily get to it. But I have a white spiral, a purple spiral, spiral, a black spiral, and then this pink floral one. Those ones are all college ruled lined notebooks. I personally like to get like separate colored notebooks for each of my classes just because whenever I get the shared subject ones, I always run out of space and those take up a lot of room. So I like to get individual ones and then I like to get different colors. And then I did get this blue spiral, but this one is graph paper for math. Next up, I have a folder. Since this is my first year at my high school, I'm not exactly sure how I want my school school supplies to be. Like personally right now I don't love folders for classes because I just find that I shove papers in there and it's not super organized and things can fall out easily but maybe after this year I will be like 
loving folders. I don't know. But I do always get at least one folder every year just for homework. So I got this white one and it has this like pocket on the front to put things. And then on the inside, obviously there's pockets and I just have some extra lined loose leaf paper. But I like to have a folder for my homework so that I don't have to take home like my binders every day. Then I have my two binders. So I got two binders this year since I have block schedule. One binder will have all my odd number periods in it. So the classes that I have for first, third, and fifth period. And then the other one will have all the classes that I have the even periods. So it's split evenly. They are both two inch binders and I got one in white and one in pink. And then I'll show you guys what I put inside of them. I didn't put anything fancy because I don't know what exactly I'll be putting in each one yet, but I just put some lined paper and then some dividers. Once again, I haven't started school yet, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna keep it organized, but you guys will probably see in a future video how that all turns out. There is a nice pocket in this backpack right here that has a little padding back to it, and that is where I keep my laptop. We haven't really gotten much information on if we're gonna be using these at school because in past years, we've never had to bring our own. They would always just have like a set in the classrooms or whatever, but from COVID and since everything was online, we did bring our own electronics last year, so I don't know if we'll have to again. So I just have my MacBook in there and we'll see if I have to bring it. I really hope I don't because that would also mean I have to pack the charger and that takes up a good amount of space. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I do also have like extra masks and just other random extra things that I haven't put in here yet, but I will put in there eventually. I think that is it for what's in my backpack. Once again, the link to my backpack and my lunchbox will be in the description down below. And if you guys wanna see like in depth all of the supplies that I got and where I got them, go check out my school supplies video. I think that was posted like two videos ago. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I did change my posting schedule like I've mentioned before, so I post every Monday and Thursday at 3 p.m. PST. If you guys stayed all the way up to this point, comment this emoji. And also comment what grade you guys are going into because I'm really interested to see like what grade everyone is in. Like I already said, I'm going to be a freshman, therefore I'm going to be in ninth grade. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!